Share the shred. We're out with uh, Valley Upper Rides today. I'm actually leading the ride for Key Creek uh, Classic uh, Course. It's a, uh, it's a tough route, a lot of climbing, not super technical. It's a couple fun downhills, but uh, it's traditional that the group does it around Christmas time this time of year, so uh, holidays. So we're getting out, come join us, come check out the course. See if you want to do the race next year. It didn't, I don't think it went la uh, last year. They skipped it, but uh, yeah. So I think it will be back in 2022. All right, starting out. Here's a uh, local Johnny's. It's pretty good if we never finish in time to eat here after, but. So after that long, long road climb, it's not too steep. Descending and then we're going up this huge ridge here. It's one of those ones you just gotta take your time, go at your pace. All right, we just made a turn onto the main route and we got some more climbing after that long grind up to the turn. <sighs> yeah, this trail may not be the funnest compared to like National or anything in Sedona, but eh, it's got some good views coming up. We start getting into the big chunky roly poly stuff as you climb. I mean, it looks small on the camera here, but it gets bigger, it gets a little tricky with some areas of the climb, but you got to keep pressing through. How was that climb, guys? Everybody loved that climb? That was awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's great. <laughs> One rocky section? Thanks, horrible. Okay, want to do elephant? Let's go. I think it's better going up and around back this way. I don't like the point. I want to share. Nice job, Mark. We got Manitoba Mark in front of me. He wasn't able to get back from Canada to come here last winter because of COVID. Now he's back and he's out here enjoying the nicer weather riding. No riding in the snow for him. It's a fantastic rider. Been doing it for 20 plus years, I believe. Maybe 30, I think. Well, this section is so nice, they reworked it. Great job, trail crews. Oops. 
country. Woo! Yeah. That was fun. That's, That's uh, way better than what it was. Got Dean in front of me right now. It's a hell of a downhiller. Pretty good climber too. Just moved from Pennsylvania about a year ago, I think. I followed you. I followed you. Turn left. <laughs> no, you crazy mofo. I almost died. No, not my frame. Nice shot, Mark. Huh. Whoa, shit. Dean, go. Some uh, crazy loose shit here. I'm gonna use that expletive. Deservedly so. fellow rider John had a rock thrown out in front of him and totally wiped out from it and he got a nice slice in his leg so he bandaged it up back there and so I'm a little, a little freaked out about rolling rocks right now but yeah that's the way he goes gotten way chunkier than I remember. So we made it down the super techie section. Everybody mostly survived. Yeah, Kroby, Kroby crashed and jammed up his fingers. So he's still riding though. So got about another 10 miles to go or 11. And then, um, yeah. So then we got this climb and then we go up over 10. It's fun. And we got this climb on Go John to Overton. It's gradual, it's not too bad. It's just another climb.
Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. About six more back. Oh, hey, Chris. What's up, buddy? I was like, you look familiar. I know him. That's Chris. What's up? Well, we're allowed to do this on a bike, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you have to do it twice then. Okay. Better on bike or <laughs> Big finish. Big, big finish. It's on slate now. We uh, skipped. Uh, go John climb into court because we got a couple injured riders with us and just want to make sure they get back and get some stitches so unfortunately I don't have the whole entire route but you know still got most of it Fun stuff. Yeah, we're jumping onto the road for the last little bit, but we're almost there. About a mile left on the road. Dangerous cars and a cold headwind, like Scroby said. Well, we mostly survived. Not unscathed, though. Oh, jeez. 